The map of our world is about to change. I'm talking about the continent of Africa splitting into two. Something very big is happening under the ground. The continent of Africa is slowly splitting in two. A huge crack is growing in the land, and it's happening faster than people expected. This crack could become so big that it forms a new ocean. This force is breaking the land and may one day create a brand new ocean. If that happens, some cities could disappear and countries' borders might change. Millions of people could lose their homes. The world sees this happening, but we are not ready for such a big change. What is causing this? How much time do we have left? What will happen when the land splits? Imagine you are standing on solid ground, but that ground is quietly pulling apart beneath you. That's what's happening in Africa right now. A massive rift is forming deep below the surface. It's called the East African Rift, and it stretches for thousands of kilometers. One day, it might split the entire continent in two. You won't hear it, you won't feel it, but it's happening. In 2018, a strange thing happened in Kenya. A giant crack suddenly split the earth open. It was kilometers long and very deep in some spots. It broke roads and shook houses, and people were very scared. It felt like something from a scary movie, but it was completely real, and it was just the start of something bigger. So, what's the cause of all this? The ground below East Africa is being stretched. Two huge pieces of the Earth, called tectonic plates, are moving away from each other. This is slowly tearing the land. This process is usually very slow, but it's happening faster than we thought. This crack is a warning that Africa is changing in a big way. The ground we live on isn't one solid piece. It's actually made of giant puzzle pieces called tectonic plates. These pieces float on top of hot rock deep inside the earth and are always moving very slowly. In Africa, two of these huge pieces, the Nubian plate and the Somali plate, are moving away from each other. This slow separation has been happening for millions of years, and now we are seeing the effects on the surface. The Nubian plate holds most of the continent. The Somali plate covers the eastern edge, including parts of Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania. These plates are separating at about the same speed your fingernails grow, just a few millimeters a year. But over time, that adds up. When the Earth's giant plates move, they stretch and break the ground. This creates deep cracks, earthquakes, and volcanoes. This isn't just a theory, we have proof. This process created volcanoes like Mount Kilimanjaro. They are evidence that the Earth is actively moving and changing at this moment. Even though the surface looks calm, the land underneath is constantly moving. This slow split is already changing Africa's shape, and the process has already begun. Big changes could happen sooner than we realize. The East African Rift Valley is a very important place. Scientists found some of the oldest human fossils there. Because of this, many believe it's where the human story began, earning it the name the Cradle of Humanity. But now that same land is breaking apart. The rift stretches over 6,000 kilometers, from the Red Sea in the north, all the way to Mozambique in the south. It's not just one crack, but a whole network of deep valleys, cliffs, and volcanoes showing exactly where the ground is being pulled apart. You can see the signs of this split all over the landscape in the form of huge cliffs, long valleys, and new lakes. However, this beauty hides danger. The ground is unstable, leading to frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The crack is still growing a little wider each year. In the distant future, this could tear East Africa away from the mainland, and a new ocean could form in the empty space. If this continues, East Africa could completely break off from the rest of the continent in about 5 to 10 million years. When that happens, a new ocean will fill the gap. Today's land, including its valleys and mountains, would sink to become the floor of this new ocean. The crack stretches along Kenya's Great Rift Valley, and many scientists believe it could end up splitting the continent apart. The shape of Africa would be changed forever. In 2018, a huge crack suddenly tore open the ground in Kenya. This, along with more frequent earthquakes and active volcanoes, is not just a random event. They are signals that the continent is splitting apart. The process has already started, and it won't stop. Even though we won't be here to see the new ocean, the changes happening today are building the world of the future. 
Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Now imagine a future where Africa is no longer one single landmass. Instead, it's broken into pieces. Pieces that float apart. Pieces that become islands. This is a real possibility. Countries of East Africa, including countries like Kenya, Somalia, and Ethiopia, could completely break away. Over millions of years, this land would drift off to become a massive new island. If Africa splits, the world map will have to be completely redrawn. New coastlines would appear, and some cities near the rift could sink underwater. Nature would change dramatically too. Forests could shrink, deserts might spread, and rivers could dry up. Animals would be trapped on new islands, forcing them to adapt or risk disappearing forever. For people, life would become very difficult as roads crumble and trade is cut off. But humans are resilient. While the journey would be incredibly hard, people would eventually find new ways to live and build new communities in a changed world. Actually, the entire ecosystems would be ripped apart. Famous animal migration routes, like those in the Serengeti, could be cut off forever. This would trap wildlife, forcing animals to adapt to their new, isolated homes, or risk going extinct. For the millions of people living near the rift, their entire way of life would be threatened. Farms could become deserts, rivers might dry up, and homes and cities could be destroyed by the shifting ground. This would lead to massive challenges, and governments would struggle to rebuild and support displaced communities. On top of all this, climate change would make these problems even worse. But this doesn't mean we are doomed. Humans are incredibly resilient and have always found ways to survive great changes. To get through this, we must understand what is happening and prepare for the future. But if Africa splits, the whole world will feel the impact. New coastlines will appear, giving countries that are currently landlocked sudden access to the sea. This would completely change global trade and political power. Nations would be separated by new oceans, old alliances could break, and the world map as we know it would be redrawn forever. This split would test the unity of the African Union, as other powerful countries might try to gain influence in the region. A global race would also begin for control of new shipping routes, ports, and valuable resources. Would disrupt the world's supply of important resources like oil and minerals, causing prices to rise for everyone. In today's connected world, a problem in Africa would quickly affect the entire planet. The change is happening now. Silently, the ground is moving, and a new ocean is beginning to form. One day, East Africa may break away completely, forcing both nature and humanity to adapt to a world with a brand new map. This is real and it is happening now. The Earth is sending us clear warnings with earthquakes, cracks, and volcanoes. Even though the final split is millions of years away, what we do now matters. By understanding these changes and preparing for them, we can help shape the future. The Earth is changing. The only question is, are we ready?